Hey Jackals, in today's video I'll show you how to make this kind of audio visualizer in DaVinci Resolve and in the next video I'll show you how to make this one. So if you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get digital. I'll be doing this in a blank fusion composition but you can also do it in a video clip or an image. We'll want to open the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition once you have it, put it onto the timeline, select it and go into the fusion page. Now DaVinci Resolve doesn't have anything built in for audio visualizer, so you have to install Reactor and once you have it installed, also link will be down below. Go to Workspace, Scripts, Reactor and open it and this may take some time. Once you have it opened up, you will be able to install a bunch of plugins, but the one we want has to do with audio and you need to install audio waveform, which is this one. Then simply install it and you will be able to use it. Now to use it, simply use control space or shift space to open the select tools, type in audio and you will see audio waveform. Then you can simply connect it to the media out file. It says please load audio file. So you need an audio file, it needs a WAV file. I'll simply use this one. And this is the default that shows up. You won't be able to hear anything and that's because it only uses the audio wave file inside the fusion page and not inside the timeline. So if you want to have the same audio wave file, you also have to put it onto the timeline, just like that, so that you'll be able to hear it inside the fusion page. In my case, we won't hear it because I have the audio muted. Now the first thing that you may want to do is to make this a circle. How you can do it is to use select tools control space and use coordinate space. Simply connect it here and you will change the shape to polar to rectangular. We have some kind of a circle and that's because we actually have to change the resolution of this input. So to do that we'll use a merge node and we'll use a background, connect it like so and we now have to simply switch the inputs with control T and now in the background, we'll change the image scale to the same values and I'll use 1920. This now makes it a circle, but the ending or the final output is now also 1920 by 1920 and we don't want that. Well, we want this to be 1080p. So I'll simply copy these two nodes, connect them like so switch between the inputs again and I'll simply put the image back to default values and I can now scale this down if I want to. But I won't be using the merge to make the scaling or the sizing, I'll use the transform node to do this. So I'll be using the transform at this point and I can now size this down just how I want and now I can actually see the final audio waveform and I'll adjust how it behaves. Now the audio waveform shape that I want to use is under the envelope and it is positive and this means that it only makes positive waveform. And the second option that I want to use is to flip this around so that the waveform goes inside. And to do this easily we'll use another transform and this time we'll use it before coordinate space. So I'll just put it here and simply use the flip verticals and now we have this inside. Now we'll probably get to this point and it looks all messed up and what you might want to do is change the size and as you can see this doesn't really fix it and what does fix it? Well let's simply display it on the left side. So now it's currently like this if we change the size so you can see what it does and what we'll simply do is change the Y value and I'll drag it down and now it scales it to the center just as you want it to. And if you want to make this bigger again we'll simply use this transform and scale it up. Simple as that. Now for the next step this is all up to you. You'll have to play around with the settings. In my case the settings that I've used was 10 for proxy sampling about 0.5 for the scale. You can also use some offset 
if you need to, but I suggest you don't. You can also use the zoom, but as you can see, this is actually the whole audio clip. So don't use too much zoom. And the resolution is basically how much it zooms in into the waveform. So I'll just leave this to default. I can now maybe change the amplitude scale back to one. Now the only thing that I want to do is change the color. You can do this under the layout, but this color change is solid. So if you want to use a gradient, you'll want to use a background node, connect it to here. Now currently it's black, obviously, because the color is black. So go to the gradient, maybe you want to use a angled one or a radial one. So I'll connect it to this point. Actually the white has to be like so, so the black is outside. And in this case you could also use a linear one and simply do it like that. I'll change the color so it's more visible. So you can do the gradient like this, simply make a couple of points to bring them together so you have a sharper edge. So you can have it like this where you can also change this color to a brighter one. Maybe something like that if that's what you want. And the last thing that you can do is maybe add some soft glow to make it pop out. Now let's take a look what I ended up with. I think it looks okay, but I would have to play around with the settings because it starts and ends too soon. In this case, we don't have any audio waveforms and in this case we have half filled in. So in that case, you may need to go back to the audio waveform, maybe adjust the offset, and you can also adjust the global in and out, if that's something that you want. But in this case, if you do, just make sure that you also change the background to also start when the music starts. So something like that. So my OCD didn't allow me to finish the video at this point, so I went back and made some changes. As you can see at the beginning of the music, we already have the half circle filled in and at the end, when this is the last word spoken, it will actually start at this point on, like that. So what I wanted to do is to actually start the music at this point, right here, and go a full circle. So this would be actually the starting point when the word is spoken and then it makes a full circle so it ends here. And to do that I made some changes. So let's get back into the fusion page and I'll show you the changes. So this is the old transform. As you can see I've only changed the y value and in this one I've also changed the x value. So let's first connect this one. So now instead of this transform being over the whole screen, it will only take the right half side of the screen. So what we then need to do is take this side of the screen and fill it in so it continues from this point on. As you can see, in my case, for the waveform to get to this point, it takes 43 frames and then we want to continue from this point on with the same waveform. And to do that, we'll use the time stretch node, but before I connect it, the waveform will then continue on and it will take another 43 frames to get to the end. So that is why I had to increase this fusion by 86 frames in total. Now the time stretch node, simply open the select tools. You'll find it at the bottom, time stretch, connect it. I'll display it on the right. And as you can see, I've basically keyframed it at frame 43 and the source time is set to zero. So until frame 43 it holds, so it is basically frame zero. And then it starts to move. And now this will basically be the bottom part of the visualizer once we combine it so that it fills in the screen. So just like before we have to inverse the selection so we flip it 
and in this case the position of the center is 0 0.5 and this one has one as you can see so I'll now merge these two together just so we can see it so now we have the same height I'll position it like so just so we can see it as you can see this transform covers the right part of the screen and this one covers the whole part so we need to fix that by using rectangle and we mask it so now it will only cover the left part and I've masked it out like this so if I display it on the right so now that I've masked it out it will look something like this I've added some soft edge and adjusted the border width of the rectangle because the waveform for some reason didn't line up perfectly I mean the waveform didn't look exactly as it does here and why that is I have no idea so I've used the soft edge to cover that up and if you look at the end so it will look something like this and it ends here so that's why I have the soft edges and if you want to fix that you can use something like this so I've added some overlays to this basically this is a rectangle that is shaped like this this one is positioned in the center so if I display this merge and this rectangle you'll see that it's positioned in the center you'll then have to adjust the Y position to how you want it to be as you can see and why I need these two rectangles it's basically because it's at the beginning and at the end and they get cut off so I'll just disconnect one so you can see and in this case we'll have to position the X value as you can see this one gets cut off at the end when it's 0 and when it's 1 it gets cut off at the start so this one was at 0 and this one is at 1 and when you combine the two you get a full shape also when you do the background if you have a gradient make sure that the X value at the start is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 if it's not you will have issues with this one and that's it for the bonus now the visualizer will start at this point make a whole circle and end at this point and that's it for today if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and until next time jackals keep it digital